Hey guys, having a big fish on 499. This is going to be a video response to Cole Hamill's fan one and his things you hate about the YouTube sports card collecting community. Um, first off, I'm not going to use the word hate. I think that's a pretty drastic word. I wouldn't have been here as long as I've been here uh, if I just hated everything. There are things that annoy me, I won't lie. Um, I think with the evolution of how YouTube and this group of people and things that we do here has changed, people have changed along with it. And I just think that there's some things that, like, I, I don't know, they just bother me. I know I've seen everybody else's, not everybody, I've seen the majority of the people that have left video responses on uh, this, um, this contest. And I actually stopped back to reflect at, like, do I do that? Do I say that? And I think it's a good idea that um, that you're having this contest to make it open to people on um, what to do, what not to do, and to be better people, um, to you know, better type of people to other people when um, you know socializing in this group of people. Um, I'm probably gonna piss folks off, and I don't mean to. Um, I'm just feeling and saying what has been on my mind on some things. And um, so yeah, let's jump into it. The comments that's normally posted as a comment, I subbed, please sub back. That's annoying as hell to me. Um, I have a lot of subscribers um, and I appreciate every single person that has subscribed to my channel. And I hope that you subscribe to my channel for the reason that you like what I'm showing, you like what I'm doing, um, uh, in a sense I'm entertaining to you, um, and I hope that you subscribe so you can continue to watch what I'm doing, not just to get a sub back, um, because I don't feel like I'm obliged to sub back to anybody. I feel I can subscribe to people that they have interests, and cards and point of views and contests that interest me. That's why I subscribe to them. It's kind of like a magazine. Um, I might subscribe to Sports Illustrated because I like the articles and the pictures and it's entertaining to me. It keeps me updated on things in the sports world. Um, you know, whereas, you know, another subscription might be sports related, let's say like the sporting news. Um, but I don't think that it, I don't like the writers or I don't like the way, you know, they write articles. I might not like the pictures. I might not like their point of view on certain topics. So I might not subscribe to them. It goes to the same thing with uh, people in the community. Um, I don't feel like I'm obliged to subscribe to anybody because you subscribe to me. I'm greatly appreciative of the people who do subscribe to me. And I hope you subscribe to me for um, what you see in my videos and just not to get a sub back. Um, so, okay, there's that. The next one, and I know I'm going to piss a lot of folks off with this, and I'm sorry, nothing personal, but usernames. There's usernames that drive me up a fucking wall. I won't even lie. Pack opener, pack buster, pack ripper, pack tear, um, pack breaker. Um, group Break Buster, Group Break Master, Group Break Annihilator, Group Break This, Group Break That, um, what's the other one? Um, group Break, Pack Break, um, oh, Box Buster, Box Breaker, Box Opener, Box Blaster, Box Destroyer, um, God, that drives me crazy. Like, I, I just don't get why so many people have such identical usernames. Um, all it does is cause confusion. Or and, and those are people that I've subscribed to at once, and I just don't do it anymore because it just causes a whole bunch of confusion. And most of the time, they're, they're younger groups, younger people, younger groups of people in the community that have that username. The other one, too, is like when you have a sports team, like White Sox three two one, um, White Sox five four three, um, White Sox fan twenty twelve, White Sox collector this, White Sox that, White Sox this. It goes on for you know, it goes on for Cubs, it goes on for White Sox, it goes on for Red Sox, Yankees, um, so on and so forth. The same thing with player names. 
Um, you know, um, I actually had a friend, I still do on here, his name is F-Ball Jets. He changed his name a while back because his name was A-Rod Fan 113 and he even openly admitted, he's like, man, I, I had that name when I first came on here and it just doesn't work anymore because so many people had A-Rod Fan in their username and now that he changed his name to F-Ball Jets, I love you Ryan, I still do watch your videos, bro. Um, F-Ball Jets, I mean, he's got more views, he's got more subs, he's doing different things on his channel and... He's just made himself more, um, you know, available and apparent in the community, which I think is really cool. Um, but man, there are like so many identical usernames. And another thing that annoys me about usernames is people piggybacking off of other people's usernames. And I gotta call you out, dude, man. Um, Big Dog Seven Four Nine Nine. That just bothers the hell out of me. Even so, even if you didn't come up with a name and you put a username in there and, you know, YouTube, when generated a random username and you picked it, it still annoys the hell out of me. I've watched your videos and I've watched your channel and I have nothing against you what you do here. You made a group of friends here and what you collect and everything and I think that's cool, but I just hate the fact that there's identical usernames, especially so similar to mine. I've used my username for a very, very, very long time, not just on YouTube, but on other things, whether it be email addresses, and uh, in some cases, alternate passwords. Um, you know, I've, I've used that for a long time. Big, because I'm 6'7", Fish, because I like the band Fish, and I'm a big Fish fan, and 7499 comes from July 4th of 1999, where I went to a show with a bunch of friends. It was a most memorable time for me, and I've always used that name, and so I just don't see how identical Big Dog 7499 just happens to randomly pop up. I just hate that. And it's not just you or the, the occurrence that your name is identical to mine. I see other people do it, like especially with the True 17. They rearrange, like Chad has a lowercase t in his username. And I see people either take it out or rearrange letters and, you know, they make the true 17. And, like, if someone, if you have, like, truth and 17 or you have big and 7499 in a search engine, a lot of times, you know, my videos or your videos are going to come up. And it, it really doesn't help me. I mean, it's helping you get noticed off of my name, which I mean by piggybacked. So... I can't stand that. I can't stand, and it's like it's not. It's not just my username, and it's not just Chad's username. I've seen that in a bunch of usernames where people try to mimic people with a lot of subs. I've seen Chris's get, uh, Chris fifty seven eighty fours get altered. I've seen Chad's get altered. Mine get altered. I've seen different usernames get rearranged to be similar to get more exposure, and that drives me crazy. No offense, dude. Like I said, I'm I'm sure. You know, you're like, you know, well, F you this and F you that. You know, I, you know, I didn't make the name up. What, whatever the case is, it just, that's something that annoys me. And it goes for a lot of other people, too. Um, enough of that. If you want to PM me that, big dog, feel free to. I'll be glad to, like, talk to you about it and let you know more about it. But I just, that's more, just the whole username thing drives me crazy. Um, the last thing is, like, the difference in blog TV and YouTube people, and it seems like, God, man, I don't even know where to begin with this. Maybe I should just leave this out and like do it in another video. I'm at almost nine minutes now. Um, I just hate the fact that like people in blog and some of the people that come on blog are so standoffish. Um, I hate it when you go in there and you even there's a group of people that you know in there and you're like, hey guys, what's going on? And like there's not like a thing, not one person will say anything, like in a room. Um, it just seems like there's blog people that like have recognized shows and people by coming onto blog TV and they notice it and they don't have a clue on who YouTube people are. I've even like tried talking to people on there and like, hey man, what's your YouTube name? It's like, well, I don't have one. I just come on blog. Okay, well, cool. It's just like, and those people, even though they, they know you're a YouTube person, they don't want to have anything to do with you. They don't want to say, you know, they don't want to talk to you about anything. They want to be standoffish and I and I hate that that there's a difference between YouTube people and blog TV people that come there and I wish 
that the two groups would come together and kind of like be more uh, be more sociable. It seems like blog people are very standoffish, and that doesn't go for all the blog people. I actually chatted with some guy last night or the night before on um, just who's a blog guy who didn't have a YouTube page. Um, but uh, I just those are things that like annoy me in the community. Um, I hope I didn't piss anybody off. Once again, big dog, I hate to like just use you as, as an example and call you out. If you want to PM me and um, you want to you want to like chew me out or whatever, be feel free to. I'm open to discussion on it. Um, but those are just things that irritate me in the community. Everybody, stay positive. I love this contest; it's a great idea, and I hope other people voice their opinions on what bothers them um, to make this. A better place we can all work it out so y'all take care thanks for watching it was a long one peace